Let's review the chubby one. They got problems on problems on problems on problems on problems on problems. I solve them. I run through the money. The pressure be calling. Left all my blessings. I feel like I'm falling. The birdie is back. Tell me I'm garbage. I'm going through something. That's why I ain't calling. Phone and progression. It's all that I wanted. The phone and affection. I summon and tell me. Hello and welcome everyone, Konstantin aka Mr. B back with a review of my Seiko Turtle Great White Shark Limited Edition 9 Special Edition which I purchased in Japan in Akihabara. So guys, let's check out this piece, let's talk about the technical data and specification, where I bought it, why I bought it there, um, about what I like, what I dislike, about how this one actually is different to the other turtles and yeah, let's find out more about this watch. Let's go. You go get you a dollar or something. Don't hang with a fool line for nothing. I see that we different. You ride and I double my don't do discussion. All right, guys, let's get the technical data and specification out of the way first. We do talk here, as, of course, about the Seiko Turtle with a diameter of 44 millimeters. I did say before, let's review the chubby one. And this is what the Turtle is. It's definitely a chubby piece, hefty one, especially with the steel bracelet. Still, I do enjoy it. I wear it for about one week on my wrist. It's very comfortable. And I think um, as the luck to luck distance is not that big, it can even it can as well be worn on smaller wrists without any problem. As well, we do have two 22 millimeters of lug width. So um, it is a strap queen. You can throw NATO straps, rubber straps, different bracelets on this. I did order or did purchase an Uncle Seiko Jubilee strap, the set 199. And I would like to review it together with this watch. Unfortunately, the package didn't arrive yet, but um, as soon as I got it, I will make a review of this one on the Jubilee bracelet. I think this is going to look pretty great. What else? We do have, of course, a hardly crystal. We do have the bright, really great, beautiful Psycho Loom, um, which makes this one to a torch. Um, you do have um, aluminum inlay in the bezel, which is really beautiful, like an LP pattern engraved indices and um, numerals, of course, then painted. The overall appearance of the watch is beautiful. 200 meters water resistance, screw in crown. You do have a day date complication. The day complication here shown in kanji, so the Japanese writing ending in English, which makes it a little bit easier to adjust uh, the day if you um, have to adjust it. You know, it's a prospect diver. It's a tool watch. It does have its 70s charm and it's a beautiful piece to wear and to look at, I would say. I would say we have wrapped up here the technical spats, so let's get on to the other topics of the review. Let's talk about what is different from this special edition to the older turtles. And the first point I would like to point out, so to say, is the bezel. And um, it's far more grippy. It seems to be a little bit higher. So the bezel action, from my point of view, is far better. I did own the party turtle and I sometimes had to struggle a little bit. Of course, this is complaining on a high level. But still, if we do nitpicking here, then this is what I have to point out. Another thing which I do like a lot is a part of the bezel and it's the loom dot. It's like engraved, the loom is applied there and then they put a small hardlex crystal over the loom dot on the bezel. This is a small detail but this is sort of stunning and it makes the whole watch feel far better for more high quality. Another thing is that the indices on the dial are now glued on. So you've got like um, small metal indices glued on the dial, applied on the dial, and then filled with Super Luminova. Of course, the Super Luminova is not the smoothest one, the smoothest one, but still everyone who knows the Seiko Loom knows this watch glows actually like a torch. Another thing which is different is, of course, the second hand. Here we do have a form like um, the Speedmaster second hand from my point of view. And of course, it sports a small shark fin. The same fin you can see at eight o'clock position on the dial. The crown, the screw in crown as well, is a little bit different. Before the tip was polished, pure polished. Now it's sort of, um, it has a sun ray structure. It's different reflection, so as well. Pretty interesting. The hands themselves are as well polished. So overall, a lot of changes, small changes, but you can really tell, feel, and see the difference there. Let's 
Let's do talk about what I dislike on this cycle turtle. And this is a complaint I have it also with the old turtle, which is the bracelet. The standard bracelet the turtle comes with is sort of not my cup of tea. It's very stiff, rattling. I don't know, it's kind of heavy. This is the reason why I did order the set 199 UBD bracelet, because it would be a little bit lighter, less heavy on this watch. I mean, the turtle is meant to wear on, 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 on the strap, on the rubber strap, on the NATO strap, maybe as well on the Jubilee bracelet. The original bracelet it comes with is just not what I do enjoy. Of course, I wore it for one week on this bracelet. It wasn't a bad experience, but still, I don't really like this sort of Seiko bracelet. Sorry for that, but this is why I definitely dislike on this watch. What do I like about the current Seiko Turtle? And there is a lot. On the one hand, there are all the features I discussed before. Of course, the hard legs crystal over the loom dot on the bezel. The color of the sunburst dial, the pattern of the dial. This is amazing. In comparison with my party, the sunburst effect of the party turtle wasn't sometimes not that rich, should I say like that? I don't know how to describe this otherwise. And also, yeah, the more grippy bezel, the bezel action, it's, it's a more solid watch. The party was as well very colorful. And I mean, this black and, no, I would say gray and blue colors, are, they do pop with the sun out, but they are as well a little bit more under the radar. And I don't know, this is what I like. It's a great summer diver. It's a fun watch to wear. It's a tough, rough beater. The 4R36 movement is something you can count on. It's not the most accurate in the world, of course not, but it's a robust movement. You do have hacking and manual windable function there. And from my point of view, it's just a fun watch to have and I enjoy the hell of it right now. It's the watch you don't have to worry about, but still be with you and will be with you also in 20, 30, 40, 60 years. And this is what I like. And of course, the color. <laughs> questions. There were a couple of questions under my last video when I purchased this Seiko in Japan. The first question was, where I did purchase this? And this is actually in the Akihabara district. Akihabara district is sort of a nerd district in Japan where you do have anime fans, uh, manga fans, and uh, electronic fans. Um, we did went to Big Camera. Big Camera, it's boom, it's amazing. It's a big store, eight levels for food, alcohol, cameras, phones, tablets, computers, um, Lego, <laughs> anime figures, robots, <laughs> everything. And of course, watches, um, where I did finally purchase. I would like to go also to the Ginza district, which where, where you can find the Seiko Square, um, where Seiko has also its origin, sort of. And there they do sell sometimes Ginza limited and special editions, but it was just a question of time. We did have two full days in Japan. The first day was already um, gone done and the second one i just have had three hours to do the purchase and yeah as we would wanted to see of course also other parts um, of the akihabara district and yeah you can just do a couple of things in one day and i think we used it pretty efficient <laughs> another question was whether i or why i didn't purchase a grand Zyko, and i have to admit i'm really now fixed on a Grand Cycle to add as a dress watch to my collection. Which one? Well, it's going to be a quartz piece. This in advance I will share with you. And this is going to be definitely my next watch. I'm blown away by Grand Cycle. I have to admit this. I hold a couple of them in my hands there. I had the opportunity to check them out. So the Zarazu polishing is stunning on the hands, on the case, um, how they do make the quartz movements. It's so interesting. There's so much more behind of it, which really was fascinating. And yeah, I'm really over the moon with this particular Grand Cycle. But yeah, later on you will figure out what you're going to learn about which one I'm going to purchase. And there was also the question about another collection review. This is for sure going to come as well, hopefully, and I think until the end of this year. But guys, please let me first purchase my dress watch for the collection. I have ticked the box with my diver, which I love. 
and I'm going to tick the box with my dress watch and then you can expect a collection review. All right, guys, this concludes the review of my Seiko, Seiko Turtle Special Edition Great White Shark. I every time want to say limited edition. I don't know why. Nevertheless, I hope you did enjoy this one, you liked it. And if this was the case, please hit the like button. And if you didn't like, hit the dislike button twice. I wish all of you now a very happy weekend, a good start in the new week. Look forward to see you in the next one. Say goodbye and auf Wiedersehen. Euer Konstantin. Ciao, guys.